Hobbiton. It is our first stop at this video. I have never seen a Lord of the Rings movie. I know. Niels has never seen a Hobbiton movie. So, you know, that makes up for it, I guess. But Hobbiton. Consequence of that. The first tours took place in 2002 with four local people and they came to look at those very first Hobbit Hole facades. Not what you're going to see today. You're seeing the permanent. If they would let me live at Hobbiton, I would be completely fine with that. I mean, it's such a pretty and quiet place and I didn't even notice that it was like a movie set. So the day after Hobbiton, we went to two caves. The Glowworm Cave by boat. And the other cave by foot with a guide. Amazing. It was too bad that you couldn't like photograph or videotape the glowworms, which is actually very reasonable, but it was just, you know, there were like thousands of glowworms like, lighting up that cave. It was amazing. Amazing. Breathtaking. Afterwards, we actually found out that there was a possibility of rafting through those caves. We didn't know that and we kind of really wanted to do that but it was very expensive and we actually really didn't have the time for it so we didn't do it I am sorry for the noises outside by the way the streets are very uh, very loud here anyway on our way to Tungariro where we were going to stay uh, the night we decided to make a stop at this waterfall <laughs> holy shit Oh! Holy fuck! Whoa! Oh, Holy shit! 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 beautiful like I kid you not that was one big ass waterfall and it had like this little rainbow in front of it cutest thing ever I loved it and after that we went to this really really dark cave but like really dark <laughs> oh shit this is really dark. Oh. Hey. Seen him? The label? A family had gone in before us and they had actually told us that there was this random spoon placed in the cave that we really had to see and had to look for so we did we never found it like that was very frustrating that we didn't find it but it was still a really 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 cool experience to get into such a dark cave but because it was that dark 
there was one point where I was holding a flashlight and it was like flashing around but I felt like at any minute, at any second, like this ghost was going to like pop up so I was kind of scared like I'm going to insert a scary creepy sound right now so you can feel how I felt during that moment Then, the next day, and this is by far one of my favorites of the entire New Zealand trip, we walked to Tongariro Alpine Crossing that is 19.5 kilometers long. And the first clip that you are going to see, you will see where we have walked. Um, so it is 19 and a half kilometers long, and we walked it in 6 hours and 50 minutes, which is pretty neat, if we say so ourselves. But those mountains and the lakes in between those mountains, like those blue and greenish lakes, amazing. It did not smell really good, but the, it looked good. Like, it looked amazing. I actually didn't think that I was going to complete the walk because, one, I am scared of falling. And the climbing up those mountains and the descending were kind of really creepy and scary. Um, and two, it is a great walk and I have never walked for such a long time. But then again, Niels was like wearing the backpack and all the heavy stuff, so I should not even be complaining at all. <laughs> like I completed the walk and I was so proud and I was so astonished, like it was great. I just loved, loved all of it. So anyway, the Tongari or All Pine Crossing, one of my favorites. Everybody should put that on their bucket list because it's just great. Like, can't believe I did that, can't believe I saw that. Can't believe it exists. So that was it. I managed to put day three, four, and five into one video. Hope you liked it, and you'll see the next one soon. Okay.